Your Cleveland Browns are one and zero, baby. Off they go. Mm-hmm. Here we go, Cleveland Browns. They are, <laughs> they are ready to take over the NFL this year. Uh, and hey, I, who knows what to glean from the preseason? It's pre- it's it's not the same as what we're going to see in the regular season, but it's still it's football, and we get to see what guys look like when they're against other NFL caliber players. And we're watching very carefully some of these young quarterbacks, especially a young quarterback who. Had his career started, now it's being interrupted. Will it work as he sits on the bench behind Aaron Rodgers? I mean, so far, Zach Wilson seems to me, Miles, like he is perfectly content, not just content, but thrilled with this situation. And most quarterbacks would not be happy with this idea that I was the guy and now I'm not, and I'm being required to sit and watch someone else be the guy with the idea, this loose, vague idea that at some point down the road, I'll get a chance to be the guy again. Zach Wilson is in a spot. Chris Sims and I were talking about this yesterday. It is unprecedented. And he's handled it extremely well so far, and he handled himself well last night. He did handle himself well last night. I mean, aside from that one third down where he went into the spin cycle just like he used to, and then, you know, was kind of tackled well short of the first down marker. I think part of why it's so unprecedented is because he was going to get replaced regardless. So it's not like this is a guy who was going to continue starting, like say Baker Mayfield, right? Where you had last year, the Browns, they go out, they get another quarterback to replace somebody who had already performed at a starting caliber level and appears to be, uh, I don't know, ostensibly kind of maybe a starter somewhere else, right? Zach Wilson was not going to be starting anywhere for any team at any time unless there was a catastrophic injury in 2023. So now he at least gets somewhat of a career reset with a team that already knows him and that he already knows, and that they, despite the fact that they went out and replaced him, have at least continued to speak decently highly of. Right, so it's not a terrible situation for Zach Wilson to be in, but at the same time, it's not the ideal thing if you are a number two overall pick and you want to play. He, he's just not going to play for this year or next year, barring something terrible happening to Aaron Rodgers. And it was so bad that he was done there. After that Thursday night game against the Jaguars, Jay Glazer said on Fox, he just did. three days later, They're done with him. And Glazer does not get things wrong. I assume Glazer was right, and they changed their minds at some point after that and decided to keep him around. But he was done. It was over. And you're right. He wasn't going to be a starter anywhere else. We started wondering, where's a good place for him to be a backup, like Kansas City? Yeah. Learn behind Patrick Mahomes for a while and, and then develop into someone who can get an opportunity somewhere else. So if this can work with this weird, clunky, was the starter could be the starter again so be it so far so good and you're right he did have the rough moment last night although it looks like his foot slipped out from under him here's Zach Wilson reflecting on his opportunity to play something that likely won't happen during the regular season that's the goal you know putting everything behind me um learning uh, I guess being appreciative of it too uh is a big one and uh, a lot of fun just to get back on the field with the guys. Um, looking forward to the growth, you know, all the work that we've kind of done to try and get better over the off season. And, you know, it's a lot of fun. This game's a lot of fun, and, and it's fun to kind of see where you can improve in areas, and um, it's fun. Great call by Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. He called that one? Had to, had to give him a little shout out there. Uh, yeah, backed up, taking a shot down the field. Um, you know, kind of pick your matchup. Those guys were kind of just playing single, single safety man. And, you know, I think that's great for preseason ball. Three for five, 65 yards in three possessions. Had that long throw. He said Aaron Rodgers dialed it up. He still looks so young. Like, Dude, I was just going to say like that. He seems like a guy that is always going to look young. Like, when is he ever going to look old? He's going to be 70, and he's still going to look like he's 13. 
I mean, he's, I was going to say he looks like he's going into middle school with his backpack and his Jets hat on. I mean, is he Aaron <laughs> Rodgers' son? I mean, he almost looks young enough to be my son. I'm still in my early 30s. What's going on here, man? Yeah, uh, I guess that long pass was good. I mean, kudos to Aaron Rodgers then, you know? If that's the case, that he dialed that thing up. And it was a good throw, you know? And it was a really good catch, too. Um, whenever you have to track a ball like that and you extend your arms and you're running, that's a tough thing to do to be able to catch a ball like that. So it was an impressive play. Now, I think that when you are Zach Wilson, you want to continue to show competence like that in the offense, even though you're not game planning, even though you're not scheming, just get the basics right. And as long as you can get the basics right, then I think you're kind of stacking those building blocks um, in the way that you want to when you are playing in the preseason like this. Yeah, I mean, the catch was impressive because – it looks like there was a little issue tracking it. He slowed down. It's like, is that underthrown? Oh, no, wait, it's not underthrown. I got to go get it. And then he, he accelerated, reached out, made the catch, and made Zach Wilson look good. So limited action, one quarter from Zach Wilson, and check the box, getting it done. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.